I, I, I feel great. I think it's, uh, it, it, it shows that even if Fox News repeats something every day, it doesn't make it true. Uh, what, uh, what upsets me still, despite the victory, though, is the fact that half the people, half the voters in America bought it, bought that Romney bullshit mountain crowd. And half. What does it take? I'm blissful. I am elated about the results of the election. Um, two reasons. Uh, firstly, in my opinion, Mitt Romney's campaign was deceptive in a big way. Um, I felt like the $5 trillion hole in the numbers, um, just it felt like he was running a campaign where everybody was assuming that he was lying to everybody else except them. That was the that was the idea of the campaign. That you know all the other guys he was lying to, but he was being straight with you. Um, and um, I just don't think that's a good precedent to set for a winning presidential. Uh, you know. Uh, push. How do you feel about the results of the elections? Wonderful and free. <laughs> so concise. <laughs> The of the uh, well, I'm very happy Obama got in um, again because I think the um, a presidential term for four years is not long enough, and I think you know the second year, the second term, they have um, a lot of um, chance to actually do what they really want to do, rather than to uh, you know do what the lobbyists want them to do and you know um, bow down to people that are paying them for uh, their campaign. So I think, you know, Obama's got a lot of good ideas. I mean, he's probably the cleanest president that's ever been around in the USA. So I think he's probably got a good chance of achieving what he set out to achieve four years ago. So, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so how did you feel about the results of the election in the USA? There was an election? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? What are your thoughts? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy that uh, the... My, my brethren in the United States came out and are not going to sink my country in the next year. Something What's smart was finally done. Canada. They're scared shitless in Canada that things might have gone the other way. But No, I, I was just saying that it's kind of scary looking, still looking at the voting map of the United States, how red it is. My, my neck ain't that red, but it's pretty fucking red down there. So you're happy with the results? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, actually, I don't know, because I'm not from America. So I'm from Samoa, New Zealand, so... Do you care? I kind of fix the economy around the world, so I do care. I have families in the States and around the world. So. How do you feel about the results of the election in the USA? I have to say that I am very, very, very pleased that Obama has won a second term. And I think the American people have done, made the correct choice and that he's been there to continue the job that he's carrying out. So, in simple terms, go Obama! Thank you. How do you feel about the results of the election in the USA? Well, I already had, as of last week, the inauguration party books on our pink out books yes we did and I was pretty sure we would and I'm very happy we did um okay I'm I think that it was the, the election results were they were inconclusive because the margins are 50 40 50 percent 49 percent across the board and I think that having a split Congress and Senate, you're going to end up with what I think is going to be very important, a debate ceiling, not a debate debate ceiling, the, the, the fiscal cliff debate before the inauguration. I believe that the Tea Party people are going to try and create his, are going to try and create a stillbirth, going to try and kill the presidency before, it come, before the inauguration. The election in the USA. Well, um, everybody keeps calling it Obama Day, uh, but I think it's 
it's more the case of, wow, Americans really aren't that stupid, Dave. Because uh, Mitt Romney just would not have been anything like a decent president for the US. So that's my two cents from an Australian. Uh, we don't have two cents anymore, actually. It'll be five cents. Yeah, Australian cents are worth more than American cents, though, too. Cheers. Fox, Fox Noise? I, Fox Noise. How, I mean, how can they be so completely, so disgustingly, so dishonestly, so underhandedly, so lyingly and miserably wrong? And I'll bet they're putting a spin on it right now. I'm delighted. I happen to think that uh, if the uh, if the Republican candidate had won, it would have been a sad day for America. Because I think what you would have had was you would have had a bunch of uh, people, uh, you know, Walmart denizens, who's uh, who are barely keeping their heads above water, and whose jobs haven't moved to China yet voting for a man who's got offshore accounts and Swiss bank accounts. It just wouldn't make any sense. So I'm real happy that they elected the right guy. That's about it.